what we discuss here, the stocks that we buy. This is Candice Chang and I'm from Stern. I had a situation where my portfolio had a couple of stocks with lower values, you know, in the area of maybe a third or even a fifth of what I normally buy. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what I should do with these stocks. So um, I looked at, at them and uh, I tried to make up my mind if I would buy them, if I should sell them or if I should buy more of, the, of that stock. And one stock that, um, uh, that had a low value in my portfolio is any, you know, the oil company in Italy, which means uh, I probably lost money on that stock. That's why the value is low now. Um, but that's past, you know, so this is, this is, uh, is, is, is really uh, a historic, you know, information that doesn't help me much about deciding on the future. And I decided then to buy more any stock. And the reason is, I started to now do um, a little bit of a um, coffee, Grenzen, you know, a little coffee discussion mm -hmm. on Clubhouse. And it happens that a German engineer was interested in economics and philosophy, that's how I called, you know, this little coffee talk. And we started to talk and she's an engineer. Uh, she's an engineer and she happens to be in hydro, hydrogen, you know, mm -hmm. happens to know a lot about hydrogen. And I said, oh, this is really interesting. I can learn from you, you know, you're here to learn from me, but actually I can learn more from you. And she's going to put together a list of companies where she thinks uh, they're not really the hot new startups that are now bought by everyone. They're more the large corporations that happen to have uh, a lot of research and development in the area of hydrogen. And she said any was the first name that came to her mind. And I was, you know, very happy because I bought already the stock. So I knew I, I, I bought probably the right stock. And when I looked at any, uh, when I went to the Obermott website and I, I looked at their ranks, uh, they're pretty good. You know, it, it's a classic situation where uh, value rank is 70, but growth is only 18. It's, it's a normal, you know, a normal situation where a company has no growth and that's why it gets punished at the markets. Mm -hmm. And the value, when I look at that, is actually interesting. The value is even higher uh, if you look at revenues than 73. Uh, if you look at the dividend yield, it's 84 um, versus capital is 68. So I, I feel quite sure that this any is actually a company where I get an attractive buy situation um, compared to other oil stocks. And uh, I then Googled a little bit and I looked at what they do and they're they're doing a lot, you know. They just announced um, last year that they have a cooperation with NL uh, to develop hydrogen projects. Uh, but it's not only that, Toyota also wants to work with them. And Toyota is the company with the strongest um, electrical uh, fleet right now in the market. Uh, there's even more um, as fuel cells works. Mm -hmm. There's probably some uh, NGO or NIO uh, to, that, to that industry. Um, and they also, they also are favorable, really, in, in what any does with their hydro, hydrogen um, uh, in the endeavor. Here they are uh, pulling up with uh, Sonat Reach, a company, I think, in uh, Algeria, and they want to source um, hydrogen through more eco-friendly uh, means of production. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that for me, uh, was something I found very convincing. And it's really true that even on their website, uh, 23 March, so not even a month ago, uh, they updated uh, their website on hydrogen and what they want to do, uh, that they have a, a high commitment to hydrogen. You know, the CEO says they, they really want to move ahead. They're already now the largest hydrogen company in Italy, and Italy has lots of sunshine. So I think it makes sense that hydrogen is produced there. Mm -hmm. So any I decided to buy, this, this, was, this was the first stock that I, that I decided to buy more. Okay. Yeah, when you were looking at the ranks, I saw that the safety was quite red. Safety was quite red? Let's have a look. Uh, no, this is the growth rank. Oh, sorry, rank. growth? Yeah, growth rank. Okay, yes. So Which growth, is that? it's really true, growth is bad, you know. They have been suffering. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen is still a future story. And oil, of course, is a bad story. So oh, yes. Italy is a bad story, so there's not much growth. The safety is strong, look, it's all green. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of safe. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I mean, hydrogen is going to take some time. 
before it rolls out into bigger scales. So this was one decision. And then the second stock I looked at, uh, the second stock I looked at in my portfolio, Siemens Energy uh, is a stock that I got more or less for free because it's a spin out from Siemens and they had Siemens stock. So when, when, when Siemens decided that they want to spin out Siemens Energy and have two different uh, stocks on the right. stock exchange, I just received Siemens Energy for free. And it has to be been a very good performer, performer, but it was still a small proportion of my portfolio because the stock got split in half. So I only had half of the exposure. I had the feeling this, this was, was a good performance stock and above all, uh, what they do um, is really interesting. You know, Siemens Energy, uh, they really produce the, all the energy products that they're selling, all the energy machinery, which of course is still heavily oil and carbon uh, is in here. But when you look at what they do, the first thing is really, they want to be a partner in the energy trans transition. So, uh, so it's a little bit of a similar story than what you had with the US stocks, where you say things are getting repatriated locally. Mm -hmm. Here Siemens, you know, probably, probably, probably benefits from the fact that, that things are getting, going to get repatriated to Europe as you know, right. a machine manufacturer could, could really benefit from that. From that. They have 90,000 you know, employees and uh, in generation, transmission um, and new energy, they have lots, even renewable energy, they have lots of products that I find really interesting. And they have 90,000 employees only in Siemens Energy. Yeah. So that's quite a... That's huge. Yeah, only Siemens Energy has, has that size. Um, and, and when you look at, at, the, at the ranks, it's, it's basically a little bit of a mixed picture. Mm -hmm. um, interesting that their, their you know, price to revenue rank is quite high at 88. But then, you know, profits are low at 27. So it's a little bit expensive, you know, compared to profits. Uh, and then again, to capital, it's, it's again, pretty cheap. So you're getting a lot of business mm -hmm. that is not that profitable right now. Right. But with the moving back to Europe, it could actually be profitable in the future. It's really a decision I made there. And I decided to buy more of Siemens Energy so that we have a, a bigger chunk of that stock. Okay.